Welcome guys to Cigar Talks. My name is De Nickel, the unknowing cigar reviewer. And who are you with me? I'm Eric, the cigar reviewer. Ooh, nice. What are you smoking today? I'm smoking the uh, H. Upman uh, Habana Cuba. Ooh, nice. Supposedly it's a uh, Cuban cigar, but I don't know if it's real or not, so... Nice, and then uh, today I'm going to be smoking the Adobe. I'm Joey. Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells so good. It's like so weird and the smell of it. I'm getting dirt, wood, hay, nut. I smell a little bit of sweetness, honeyness to it. This wasn't in a uh, package, so it doesn't really have. Too much of a smell to it. Didn't have the, uh, the. It's not plastic, but that piece that looks like plastic. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a wonderful. Uh, got some veins on it. Uh, it's, pr it's pretty decently uh, constructed. How about yours? Yeah, it looks a little rough, um, but I mean, it looks pretty well construction, but it has like a few like bumps and stuff on it. It's not, it's not the smoothest surface I've ever smoked, but hmm. it's not bad. But. All right. I think we should get the cutting. And then we'll light it soon. So I'm gonna do a straight cut. So I, I think this is a quad cap, so we're gonna cut the first cap off. Ooh, that's a good cut. I got some I was a little nervous there. Right. I was a little nervous there, but Oh that was a, that was a pretty good slice there. It's a little at an angle, but that's okay, that doesn't really matter. Ooh. What? I'm autom automatically getting a lot of flavors from that. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness, some wood, some nut. And it's hard to tell what the flavors are. Uh, let me tell you some information about my cigar though. So, it's a 50 ring gauge. You see that? Uh, there's not much about the wrapper, the binder, or the filler. Uh, it's long filler, of course. Uh, price is about like 20 bucks to 30 bucks wherever you get it. From here, it's probably like 20 bucks. From Canada, it's probably like 80 bucks. I don't know. <laughs> Texas. Texas is pretty cheap to pick up. There's not much taxes on it. Nope. This right. one, I'm getting a pretty weird taste. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I know what it is. I've tasted it before. I just can't put it into words. Look how it's beautiful like, that is. Though. Perfect. That's such a weird... It's such a weird taste. I don't know if I'll get... I don't know. I gotta light it to tell you. All right. Who's going first? You going first? Yeah, I'm going first. I already got it going. Put it to the so I can see it, boy. It' wonderful. Ooh, I can't wait to light mine. Nice. What you getting from that? Mm. 
A lot of wood. A lot of uh, oak wood. Oak wood. Um, a little bit of dirt. A little bit of spice. A little hint of spice. So. Does it taste good? I don't know. You don't know if it tastes good? Well. <laughs> I'm a light man. It's different. Right off the bat, I'm getting a lot of smoke from that. Really easy draw. Man, what's that flavor? It has this weird flavor that I can't put into words. Uh, it's medium. Uh, how high it is is just medium. Uh. Wow, that's pretty good. So I got some little bit of pepper spice in the back of the throat. You're getting that woods. <laughs> Coming out with that little bit of hay in there. Uh, it's pretty soft, which is really good. It's pretty light. I'm getting that more wood or nuttiness flavors through the nose. And I got some water to pair with my cigar. I got coffee, like a scrub. We'll say it's not the greatest mix. In this world, when you choose the behavior, it comes with consequences. And whatever behavior you choose, good behavior, bad behavior, whatever, it comes with a certain consequence. And when you, you say guys don't stay with you, you're not exactly generating a profile that makes a guy want to take you home to meet mom. Um, yes, uh, I do. Some guys I dated. Like, I dated a guy for three months. Yeah, well, that's yeah. not exactly yeah. a lifetime. But, but yeah. it's interesting that whether you're putting on some act to get attention or whether you <laughs> genuinely have a distorted view of life or whatever, doesn't really matter because even if you are putting on an act to get attention, what's important to me is why you chose this particular act instead of another act. I mean, it all, I, I spend most of my time hearing what people don't say. I, I look at all behavior the same. And it's interesting that everything you do, the way you describe the guys that you want, the things that you portray yourself to be on the internet, the things you say about the way you want to be treated, the way you seem to have this fixation on negative in input, the way you run from positive input, uh, all tells me that you love being in the victim role and that you love being in a situation where Literally, fucking everyone nowadays is always a victim. Right. It's like... Everyone and their mother. Yeah, so literally Dr. Phil said <laughs> that she's just wanting to play the victim and shit like that. It's so true for like fucking everyone, not just this stupid bitch. And then she goes... Yeah. <laughs> hey, that... <laughs> She she laughs it off, but she knows it's true. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Absolutely, no self worth, no self esteem, and no oh. self. You can start it. 
self-respect. I have a high self-esteem. I don't, I don't care if people think that. I have high self-esteem. I have high self-esteem. Because anybody that had self-esteem, right? self-worth, and self-respect <laughs> would not allow random guys to use their body as a playground. <laughs> they would not allow random guys to... Oh, no. It would not allow random guys to entertain themselves in such a way that could leave you with a disease or a pregnancy or uh, a situation or circumstance where you were hurt, uh, killed, or left in a life circumstance that you would pay for for years to come. And no one with self-worth or self-esteem would allow themselves to be used and manipulated that way and then dilute themselves that this is something they want. And that tells me that uh, whether it's because, as you said, that your mother wasn't there for you and that you feel that your dad bailed on you when he had a stroke and you got left on your own and you... you no wonder your dad had a fucking stroke. You're fucking... Fucking Looney Tunes, dude. Are you We're concerned? cute, and so you got attention for that. So you started using the currency that you had. Um, it just tells me that uh, your self-worth and self-esteem is absolutely on the floor, and I hate that for you. No, it's not, because I don't hook up with every guy. I'm not like that. I go on dates. I only hook up the second date if he's my type. I don't hook up with every guy. I don't like that. Yeah. I have standards. I'll yeah. Second day. Um, right. Trust Pleasure. me, if you don't. I have standards. I have standards. <laughs> All right. Two nights, and I'm down to fuck. All right. Sorry. Sorry. It's like holy crap. I have standards. I don't sleep with every guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, trust me. If, if he buys me dinner, think I might that you won't wind up on the internet with somebody uh, that no. will. Rape you, yeah. Man. or somebody that to will me. cut your throat and leave that you for dead. That would never happen to me. Nothing bad ever happened ever. It's not gonna happen. I would you really him? hope there. that yeah, somewhere you would set a goal to say, you know what, that's all fun and games, and I get lots of attention for it. But there's more to me than that, and I need to treat myself better than the way I'm treating myself. Yeah, just about. All right, go ahead and comment on it. All right, so um, first third of my cigar. Uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, earth to it, like kind of like a, a house house barn, kind of like a barnyard, I mean. But uh, a lot of wheat and stuff like that. I mean, hay. I don't know why I said wheat, but hay, stuff like that. It's a decent cigar. It has a weird burn to it. Keeps on going to the left for some reason. It's kind of weird. Hey, just like my dick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Same, bro. Same. For real? I was just kidding. <laughs> oh, were you just kidding, bro? Yeah. I was kidding. I was kidding too. Well, now I know what you're. No, <laughs> no bro. It's, it's All not, right. It's not a big deal, Eric. <laughs> All right. So like, I can get the the corners pretty good. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, does it go, wait, does it bend this way, like upwards or downwards or sideways? Well, I feel like everybody's, like, bends one way because, like, you know how you, like, situate, your, situate yourself? Like, when it's in your pants, you move it to the left side or the right side? Which one do you move it to, the left side or the right side? Mm, wherever it goes. <laughs> oh, dude, really? You don't have, like, a selected place for it? I guess that's just me. I always rock it on my left side. Rock it on your left side. Mine just goes into hiding. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes out later. When it wants to. <laughs> uh, I'm almost at the first third. Of the Uh It's pretty good, actually. Oh, shit. Uh, good construction. Like, you see, it's such a slow burn, which is, I can be out here for a while. 
It's like one of those big cigars you can smoke. You know, take for I'm getting a lot of smoke from it too. Real easy draw. I'm getting a nutty pepper, uh, oaky woods, some like uh, some lighter flavors, but really good flavors. This was a really quick, quick, uh, quick cigar. But I'll let y'all know how it goes to the to the halfway mark, so I'll let y'all know. Alright, on this next video, we're going to watch a boxer punch a burrito. Uh, the, <laughs> the boxer's name is uh, Dante Wilder. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking punches a damn burrito. And you'll All see right. what fucking happens next. Are you we'll ready? see what happens. I'm yep. on two seconds, so... Uh, there we go. You ready? One, two, three, go. Go. Puedes pegar aquí la pancita. Aquí la pancita. O aquí arriba. Uno. Oh, that's so messed up, dude. That poor burrito. Okay, well, she's clapping. <laughs> yeah, I think they, she's clapping. <laughs> they didn't know. They didn't fucking know. They just fucking left them there. <laughs> They're like, hey, <laughs> hey, he punched a burrito. He literally punched a burrito. <laughs> In the face. burrito's dead now, dude. No one knows his jaw is broken. <laughs> you can't even talk. <laughs> They're all like clapping. It's ridiculous. How it's, would you punch a burrito? They just want. They, I think he had a padding in his stomach, and then the you know the guy in the red, the instructor or whatever, not the instructor, but the host. He's saying, I think he was saying, punch here, don't punch up here. So he was pointing to the stomach punch here, and then he hit the head. So I think the the boxer. Thought he meant, oh, hit here, hit here in the face, and he got fucking smacked. Oh. All I wanted to do was live his burrito life. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna wake up and he's gonna be like, what happened? So uh, I'm at the halfway point. And, uh, and pretty much the same notes and flavors. Um, there's a little bit of black pepper in it. A little bit of a... Mm, a lot more, a lot more hay. That's about it. Mm. Uh... <laughs> I'm still trying to smoke this thing. This smoke is a slow burner, baby. It's a uh, gout. It smells really good. Uh, the flavors are there. It's still kind of the same flavors that I had before, but but they're they're so well. It's so well made and everything. I mean, there's no doubt it's worth 20 bucks, but the ash, look at the ash. I'm a little bit at the halfway point. Uh, I'm feeling some pepper, a little bit of creaminess to it. Um, I'm also getting that woodsy, oaky taste. What else? I'm getting a little hint of nut in there, but not too much. Just kind of like moving away from it. But so far, it's just keeping there. Uh, flavors is a little bit consistent, which is really nice. All in all, it's a pretty good cigar so far. Hey, I'm going to give my last thing. I'm going to be done with mine. I'm not going to smoke it all the way. Oh, shit, you're done with it. Basically. 
So. It had some strong flavors. I just didn't really enjoy the flavors. Nice construction. I mean, it was all right construction. It wasn't the best. The ash was good, but it was a it's pretty small ring size, so it doesn't stay on there as quite as good. Uh. Well, I guess small ring sizes, but it was like really small. Uh, this one falls real easy with the slightest touch. The first uh, ash was a little bit curved, which was kind of disappointing, but it was whatever. Um. Yeah. Overall, I mean, I I wouldn't smoke it again, but I will hang up the ban. And uh, dump in my ashtray. All right. So Caleb will finish up his in like in thirty minutes or so. Alright, you guys, we, I finished this. I'm just going to stop right there. It's already out and everything. Just do the little ass drop. <laughs> Even though it's out, but whatever. Um, it was very enjoyable. Uh, one out of five, I would get it definitely like a 4.5 or something like that. Um, it was good. I would definitely get it again if I had the money. But it is surely expensive. It's like 20 bucks, I think. But, otherwise, uh, after the end, it took me about, like, another hour. It was such a slow burn, but it was so good. But, that's it. So, if you enjoyed this little podcast and kind of reviewing stuff, uh, come back, see me later, see us later. Uh, like, subscribe, and everything. Alright, have a good one, guys.